Hi, good morning and greetings from Canada. It's a real pleasure to uh, be able to, to be invited and an honor to be invited to uh, do this keynote at Eden Research Network um, or conference. I've, I've, I have a very soft spot in my heart for Eden Research conferences because it was the very first one international conference that I got invited to do a keynote at when, in Oldenburg many years ago. Uh, and I guess I told enough jokes that I kept getting invited back. So uh, it, I would have much sooner been able to enjoy some uh, Portuguese culture and wine with you uh, in Lisbon, but uh, I, I'm settling for a chance to talk to you. And I hope that uh, uh, when this presentation uh, it, uh, goes that you'll have some comments and some uh, questions uh, uh, for me and for, for all of us. So let me uh, start by uh, sharing my screen. And I will go to here and I will share that and I will start the slideshow. So my, the title of my talk is, is going to be a quality through three generations and aggregations of online learning. And one thing that I've, I've, I've been sort of asking a lot of people that I meet, uh, whether they be students or teachers who are, have been thrust into uh, teaching online for since, since uh, COVID times, is, you know, what, how is your experience of online learning? And what surprises me is the variety you hear. You get some people say, oh, it's terrible. I can't wait to get back to the classroom. And others say, oh, this is the greatest thing. I can, I can have freedom to pay attention to what I want to pay attention to. I can uh, multitask. I can uh, network with my friends. I can take care of my kids while I'm still in, in enrolled in school. So that we get a huge variation. And yet we call this all online learning. So what I wanted to do in this presentation is talk about the different kinds of online learning and paying a specific, a special attention to the different pedagogies that drive it. And Samantha McMahon from uh, Sydney uh, wrote a neat blog where she talked to, she says, I, I kind of got better at teaching online when I stopped saying what I can't do and started asking better questions like what pedagogical principles drive what I normally do and then how can I appropriate and use those in an online environment. And so what I'm going to do uh, in, in, our, in the talk is to go through uh, an older article that I wrote way back in 2011 with John Drawn. And I sort of looked at online learning through three different uh, models or, or pedagogical designs that, that underplay it. And uh, what I'm going to do is try to talk about the, the newer, newer technologies that, as they've evolved since 2011 and the, the research techniques that we can use to study uh, each of these three. And these three are uh, behavioral cognitive model often used in training, the social constructivist model, which yeah, you probably are very familiar from classroom instruction, or at least a smaller classroom instruction, and then the emergent uh, connectivist uh, pedagogy for online learning. And I hope that uh, these, as I go through each of these, you'll see which one resonates most specifically with yourself and your teaching uh, institution and your teaching context, and maybe most importantly, with your students. So with that, uh, I will uh, uh, pause and end by just saying that I'm looking forward to talking to you uh, at Eden Research Conference number 11. Thanks very much.